Welcome to Snake Speaks. This is Ep 4, and today we are talking about The Chosen One by Drew Galloway, a.k.a. Drew McIntyre. It's the autobiography of WWE superstar Drew McIntyre, as I just said. Um, I've been reading a lot of uh, autobiographies lately. It uh, started, if you go back, you know, some of the Snake Speaks episodes, you'll see I've read Ronda Rousey, um, Becky Lynch, and so so forth. So I like to digest uh, biographies of people who I find interesting to me, and I picked up Drew's. It was actually published a while back, but I realized I hadn't read it yet. And um, he's as of uh, as of this recording, he's been killing it on WWE television. So I wanted to go back and actually read his book, and I'm glad I did because it it, it was actually it's actually a really great read. Some of the things that um, stand out to me in this is number one, it's it's written well. So whereas in one of my other videos where I spoke on uh, Becky Lynch has needed some some fine tuning and some editing, uh, mostly because she wrote it herself and she's not a writer. But um, Drew clearly had a ghostwriter working with him. But the thing that I liked about it is that uh, it didn't lose his voice regardless. So um, whoever he was working with did a fine job of translating his story in a way that sounded like he was speaking. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out about this one is just Drew's story in general. Uh, he comes off as a very, a very determined individual. So they, 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 they call him, the, it's, the book is called The Chosen One, but it should be called something like Grit and Determination because... Uh, he just from an early age he had all these goals and visions in his mind and he was determined to make them happen and then even when he had some setbacks uh it took him a minute to dust himself off um but then when he did he was like gung-ho streamlined uh exhausting himself to the point of burnout just to make his uh 2.0 mission statement a reality and and finally get to the place in his career where he always envisioned himself to be. Um, another quick shout out in regards to that though, is his wife, Caitlin, who he, um, he bestows like a lot of his success on the fact that, that she was there for him, helping him out. And she seems like an awesome lady. Uh, get, get yourself a partner like Drew has because, um, Caitlin was there to to see him through like some 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 rough times, including uh, the death of his mother, which which if it, you know impacted me because uh, when I was reading about his lo- the loss of his mother, it kind of made me think about the loss of my own. And uh, it's funny because when I'm whenever I'm in a down state, I can always turn to professional wrestling to help see me. Uh, see a path through, uh, what I'm going through because I can, I can read their, their words and struggles and, and see how they came out of it to get to where they are today. So that's why, that's why I like delving into professional wrestling. Uh, not just, not just the autobiographies that I'm talking about, but also like the events and the, the, uh, correlation that I see the parallels between writing and wrestling. You'll notice that I talk about it a lot. It's not just because I'm a fan, but also because uh, it's been a big part of my life since I was like a little kid. And as I, you know, one of my books is actually dedicated to my brothers. There's always wrestling because um, that's been like the cornerstone that we can always go back to whenever times are tough. And Drew McIntyre's book was that for me when I was reading it. And I really enjoyed his uh his 2.0 mission statement that he lists out in the book, and it actually inspired me to do my own. But um, I've heard his story before. Uh, they've done documentaries on WWE television, but uh, just reading for me just makes it soak in a little bit more. You get a little bit more from it. Um, that little fine details that they don't necessarily show on the television. But overall, I, a, a really good read. I totally recommend it. For anyone who's, you know, going through some some struggles or trying to achieve a dream, it's a really good inspirational read for that. Um, and I don't want it to sound like it's a, like a lot of fluff. Um, it's it's gritty, you know. He, he, like I said, he goes through some things, and but he rises above, and that's always the best stories. So 
check it out. It's called The Chosen One. Uh, Drew McIntyre. Drew Galloway is his real name. It's available wherever you get books.